Hey YouTube, this is uh, X Nicholas XX here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys up African Fat Tail Gecko Care video. Uh, I like to start off with uh, the fact that I've had this guy. He was my very first animal, and uh, I've had him for a long time. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know the ins and outs of their care. So I like to start off with saying that they're a lot like a leopard gecko in the fashion of their care and what they eat. Um, for housing, you're probably not going to go smaller than a 15 gallon tank. My guy's in a 20 gallon. Uh, I think it's like 2 foot by a foot and a half. 20 gallon floor space though. And uh, you know you don't need such a big tank. I just have him in it because he deserves it. He's a uh, one of the oldest animals I have, so yeah. Uh, so for substrate, you could use anything. Same as leopard geckos: newspaper, paper towel, butcher's paper, sand. Uh, I wouldn't actually. I wouldn't keep them on sand because uh, they're from a more humid environment rather than arid. So uh, stick to some of the more uh, moisture-containing substrates like wood chips. Uh, mosses, eco earth. I have them on jungle bed right now by Zoomed. Keeps the tank fairly humid. As for heating and lighting, no lighting is required, but UV is always beneficial. For heating, uh, you could use a heat bulb, but uh, it's recommended to use a heat mat because they are uh, nocturnal and they will hide for most of the day. So if you have a a heat mat, I have a heat mat like right under this hide area. So he just goes under his hide in this end and uh, he can get warm. And then you move down to this side. A cool end hide there. It's like a little Zilla Repti Hotel. Um, temperature and humidity, you're going to probably want to... Uh, an ambient temperature within the cage of about 80, about 85-ish. Uh, warm end is probably going to be around high 80s. Basking spot, I mean the warm hot spot area shouldn't be hotter than uh, 92 degrees or so. That's probably the warmest it should get. Cool end should probably be in the low 80s, but uh, temperature can fluctuate a bit. Oh look, he's trying to burrow under his water dish. See that? It's pretty cool. I better fix that now. Oh yeah, before he gets stuck. What an idiot. Uh, so yeah, it's probably a good idea to have like something like wood chips or something so they can kind of burrow. Uh, as for tank decor, you don't really need much. I just have this like a little cactus with some Spanish moss on it, but nothing too special. Uh, feeding. My guy will only eat crickets. I've offered everything else to him, but uh, or her, but she she's never eaten anything but crickets. So. If yours eat super worms, mealworms, go right ahead and feed them to them. Anything a leopard gecko can eat, they can eat. But uh, I find that fat tail geckos only eat crickets. And a few of the people I talk to say the same thing, a few breeders. So uh, I'd probably uh, rely mostly on crickets. If you're in the States or in, uh, in the UK, you could try dubia roaches. But uh, I've never tried them in Canada, they're illegal, so uh, I can't talk about dubia roaches. For water, you're probably always going to want a water bowl, you shouldn't miss them. With a mister, uh, probably once every, or maybe three times a week. You could do it once a day, but it depends on uh, the type of cage you have right here. It kind of gets less humid fast. Uh, this I'm at, this is a good humidity to 40 to 60 percent, probably the best. Probably aim for 50 percent because they are from Africa. C could get pretty humid in there. Uh, aside from that, it's pretty easy to take care of them.
they don't really need much. I made this video because there's not a lot of YouTube videos on fat tail geckos. But, uh, yeah. This is an overview of his tank. Yeah. And uh, I'll finish off with a couple shout outs to a few YouTubers. One to Vinecore Reptiles. Another one to Jake Scott Herps. And, uh, some guy gave me a shout out. I forgot his name. I was gonna give him a shout out, but, uh, I guess I'll shout him out in the next video. Okay, later YouTube.